Are you struggling to pass your English language exam in Nigeria? If so, understanding the structure of the exam is crucial. This exam typically consists of four main sections, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Each section is designed to test a different aspect of your language skills. In the reading section, your comprehension and vocabulary will be put to the test. You'll be asked to read passages and answer questions about them. For the writing section, you'll need to demonstrate your ability to express ideas clearly and coherently in written English. The listening section will assess your ability to understand spoken English, while the speaking section will evaluate your fluency and pronunciation. Remember, each section carries equal weight, so it's important to prepare for all of them. By understanding the format of the exam, you can tailor your study strategies to each section, improving your chances of success. Knowing the structure of your English language exam is the first step to acing it. Now that you know what to expect, how do you prepare for it effectively? Well, let's dive into some effective study techniques that can turn your English language proficiency up a notch. First off, flashcards. They're an oldie but a goodie. Flashcards for vocabulary can be incredibly useful. Write the word on one side and its meaning on the other. Go through them regularly and before you know it, new words will become a part of your everyday vocabulary. Next up, daily reading and writing practice. And no, we're not talking about scrolling through social media posts. Immerse yourself in quality English literature, newspapers, novels, journals, you name it. As for writing, try journaling your day-to-day -day experiences in English or perhaps start a blog. It's a fantastic way to express yourself and, in the process, improve your writing skills. Now let's talk about listening. It's one thing to read and write English, but understanding it when spoken, that's a different ballgame. Listening to English audio, be it podcasts, audiobooks, or radio, can help you improve your comprehension skills and get a hang of different accents. Lastly, don't fall into the trap of cramming. It might seem tempting to push all your studying to the last minute, but this approach rarely works. Instead, commit to a regular study routine. Even a few minutes a day can make a huge difference over time. Remember, consistent study and practice is the key to mastery. So what should you do on the day of the exam? The key is to remain calm and focused. Start with a good night's sleep. Your brain needs rest to function at its best. Try to get at least eight hours of sleep. Avoid cramming the night before. It only increases stress and can lead to memory lapses. Next, eat a nutritious breakfast. Your brain needs fuel to operate efficiently. Opt for something high in protein and low in sugar to maintain your energy levels throughout the exam. Arrive early at the exam venue. The last thing you need is to be flustered and rushed. Use this time to relax, take deep breaths, and mentally prepare yourself. Finally, manage your time wisely during the exam. Prioritize questions you're confident about. Don't get stuck on a single question for too long. It's okay to move on and come back to it later. Proper preparation on the day of the exam keeps the panic away. To summarize what we've discussed, let's take a moment to retrace our steps. It all begins with a clear understanding of the exam structure. Familiarizing yourself with the format, knowing what to expect, and recognizing the different sections can be a game changer. It's like having a map of the terrain before embarking on a journey. Next, we delved into effective study techniques. Remember, it's not just about cramming information into your head. It's about understanding, analyzing, and applying what you've learned. Engage in active reading, jot down notes, use mnemonic devices, and don't forget the power of practice tests. They're your mock battlefield before the real war. Then, we explored the crucial aspect of exam day preparation. A well-rested mind, a healthy breakfast, and an early arrival at the exam venue can make a world of difference. It's not just about knowing your stuff. It's also about being in the right state of mind to showcase your knowledge. Throughout this journey, maintaining a positive attitude and confidence in your abilities is key. Don't let doubts or fears hold you back. Remember, you've put in the work, you've done your part, now it's time to let it shine. With these steps in mind, you're on your way to acing your English language exam in Nigeria. Good luck.